Hi, my name is Gabriel Collin. My presentation is for Week 5 Art and Design Histories, Making and Meaning, Semester 2, 2020. The topic is Australian First Nation Art, Representation and Contested Nation States. I have chosen The Eel Trap by Yvonne Kulmatri, Master Weaver and Cultural Revivalist. Let me show a slide of The Eel Trap and photo of y Yvonne Kulmatri. Yvonne Kulmatri is a Gunringeri woman born in South Australia in 1944. Growing up, she had little or no contact with traditional culture. In 1982, she attended a one-day workshop given by her aunt, Dorothy Kartingeri, who was one of the last practitioners of the coiled bundled weaving technique. She uses local spiny head sedge, otherwise known as Cyperus jaunocalos, known to the artist as Ilbili and river rushes. Kumatri is credited with saving the traditional Yungeri weaving craft, which was once thought to be extinct. She sees her responsibility as twofold. First, to pass on the skill, which she teaches to other people, including her own son and granddaughter, and secondly, to create objects of the highest possible quality to last for generations, as testament to the power of Gangeri culture. Kulmatri uses the traditional buttonhole and blanket stitch techniques to create objects inspired by traditional Gangeri baskets, as well as to create objects and animals such as the echidna. She describes her work as being inspired by the Murray River. Kulmatri's work has been collected by museums and galleries throughout Australia. She represented Australia at the Venice Biennale in 1997. She wants to keep the Gyangeri weaving skills current and meet the standards by which the work represents the authenticity of her culture. Here's a photo of an echidna. Photos of eel traps. So uh, now I'm just going to pose some questions for discussion. Kumatri's works are seen as objects of commercial desire and are collected by museums. Does this negate the role of the woven objects as reinvigorating the traditions of indigenous culture to connect with the authenticity of the desires of the ancestors? Do any of the woven objects still have a practical use today by indigenous people? What happens when traditional cultural objects are considered works of art, learning the difference between art and craft? How does the intention reiterate the voice of the artist and not just the commercial value? Is it craft art or not? Thank you. This is Gabriel Collett.